Afternoon all, um, it is time for me to update you on my competing aspirations for 2018. As many of you, as many, uh, many of you will know, I can't even speak, many of you will probably know that the last time I stepped on stage was with Pure Elite in April 2017, where I entered three categories as an amateur in Margate, came third in two categories, international model and over 35s fitness, which um, uh, which were, were incredibly proud moments. Got to share the stage with my great mate Jeff Meeling, which was um, a privilege in itself. And then the my proudest moment was when I was crowned UK Body Transformation Champion, winning the transformation category in Margate um, after losing over 56 kilos of, of fat, um, overcoming spinal injury, um, and various other bits and pieces, two heart attacks and so on and so forth. So incredibly proud. But my proudest moment was when Stuart Armstrong uh, gave me a, a pro card, which is a status awarded to people who he thinks um, are able to compete at that next level. And it was always, uh, for me, going to be an incredibly demanding challenge to move um, from amateur to pro, when you consider that my pro background was effectively um, overcoming obesity, spinal injury and, and a really skinny and scrawny status to step on stage. I didn't, in 2017, have any long-term aspirations to compete. I thought it would just be a one-off and I would go back to being a normal guy, training occasionally and eating normal food. But like many people in the fitness industry, I'm entirely addicted to the lifestyle. Still eat from my Tupperware boxes. I love the discipline of um, eating um, you know, incredibly controlled food. I do have nights out. Uh, particularly when I'm bulking. And I enjoy the gym, I enjoy the challenge of the gym, I enjoy being surrounded by people who are focused and determined um, and who, who know their stuff in the gym. I'm really lucky at the moment to be training at a gym here in Western Supermare called Sucks Gym, um, which has got some, it's, it's owned by some incredible guys who are very knowledgeable and very friendly. Um, and the members are all exceptionally talented and inc uh, very friendly people who are willing to give you a hand and spot you when you need him and so on and so forth. So I'm very lucky that the last few weeks and the next few weeks I'll be training with some exceptionally talented people down here in the West Country. Um, a number of things have changed over the last few weeks. Many of you who follow me know that um, I have had a number of challenges outside of my control that I've had to overcome, which I am successfully overcoming as I always do. Um, there are challenges that would floor most people. Um, I'm still reminded um, that that young people particularly always say, we well, just need to banish the negativity and surround yourself with positivity. The real world doesn't work like that. Sometimes the uh, real life throws you some uh, pretty shit times and, and you have to overcome them and work through them. And they do challenge everybody and, and they challenge even me and I'm always a glass half full kind of a guy looking for extra sources to fill it up. But what this has all meant is, is that in 2017 I stepped on stage and if you look at the photographs in the video, my condition was good but I lacked size, I lacked muscularity. If you understand my journey, I went from exceptionally overweight and obese to very skinny and, and thin. I went from 135 kilos at my peak to just 78, 79 kilos before I stepped inside the gym. And I only set myself a, a year really to sort of mess around in the gym and, and get to stage. I had no aspirations to become um, a fitness model or a fitness competitor. But now I have, uh, and I've obviously got my pro card. And that means I'm competing against a lot of guys who have been training for years, um, who are uh, who take a number of, of um, enhancements, so their muscularity is a lot, and their condition is a lot better, and that they are a lot bigger than they would be if they were natural. And that means I have to do things slightly differently. And that means I have to give myself sufficient time to be able to develop that physique. I did have aspirations of competing last year in November at the Worlds. I think looking back, that would have just been uh, an unre just to been unrealistic. Going from a scrawny pro awarded athlete in April to something that could have placed in November was unrealistic. Surgery intervened, so I wasn't able to compete anyway, and that was probably a good thing. What's happened this year has been a number of curveballs that have also they've not interrupted my training. Um, my training has still been very consistent, and my diet has, for the most part, been incredibly consistent. But what it has done is it has made it has given me time to reflect and realise that I am 40, I do need to take more time, I am get, gaining in muscularity, my condition is improving, um, I am doing all the things I need to do to level the playing field with other pros, 
but I need to be given more time in order to, to get to stage. Now, my muscularity is not bad now, and if I shredded down, I'd, I'd, put, I'd hold my own on stage. But for me, holding my own and making up numbers is not something I ever want to do. I only enter, some, I enter something when I've got a chance, however small, of, of, um, of winning. And that is ultimately what you want to do as a pro competitor, is you, you want to win, you want to win a trophy. So what I've decided to do is I won't be competing in 2018. Um, I am now going through a, if you call it a reverse, or going through a, um, a growth stage, a gain stage, where I'm trying to put on as much lean muscle as I can um, as, uh, over a sustained period of time as I can. The original aspiration was to compete at the beginning of October with a new federation called UKUP. I've registered and paid for that, but I won't now be entering the York competition. Um, it, I won't be ready enough, and I've not started my shred because there's no point in shredding when I haven't gained as much as I want to. And then the other two federations that I was going to be involved with this year were Pure Elite and Worlds in November. Um, uh, well, I've done three or four categories and also the Ultimate Fitness League's uh, World Championships in Bristol in November. I won't now be entering either of those competitions just simply on the basis that I will not be happy with the condition that I achieve in November on the basis that I haven't given myself sufficient time to, to grow. I was actually watching an athlete called, uh, to, called Paul, um, who in many ways, he's a bit of a quiet athlete really, he just posts true things about what he does in his everyday life, doesn't do any of these motivational memes and he doesn't pretend to be Gandhi. Uh, Paul Walsby's called, really nice chap, met him a couple of times at UKUP events and I've been watching him and he just takes time to grow. He focuses on his weaknesses, uh, as, as well as improving his strength. And the guy is, is incredibly honest and really open about what he needs to do in order to get stage ready. And I sat watching, reading some of his posts the other day thinking, actually this guy knows what he's talking about and, and it's about time. It's about giving yourself time um, to, to grow and to achieve what you want to achieve. So on that basis, and because Sean and I are heading back to Australia at the end of November this year, Finally, um, it is very unlikely that I will ever be competing in the United Kingdom again, which I am quite sad about, to be honest. But there are federations in Australia that may change, of course, and I may decide uh, I would like to give Pure Elite and UFL uh, a chance. And um, if I can persuade Sean to come back for extended holiday next year, then um, who knows? I might do. But at this moment in time, my focus needs to be on on growing. My focus needs to be on not aiming towards a particular target date of competition. But once I've achieved a size uh, muscularity, um, a lean muscularity that I'm comfortable with, it would then be looking around to a, a competition that's 12 to 16 weeks from that point and um, shredding um, and getting my condition in such a position that I'm able to step on stage, hold my own and hopefully come away with a trophy. Um, that will be next year. I won't step, be stepping on stage now until, until 2019. Um, which is fine, I'm really comfortable with that to be honest, I'm in a very good place at the moment with my training, I'm enjoying it, um, I'm enjoying it hugely, I'm enjoying the fact that I'm, a, I'm having nights out and I'm eating normally again and I'm having a couple of drinks every now and again. Um, I don't have to be as strict as, as, um, uh, as other people do when you give yourselves insufficient time. So my message out there is I'm still competing, still training, I will still be boring everybody on Instagram and Facebook with regular updates but I won't be competing uh, in the UK in 2018. Um, and I may not be competing in the UK again, as, uh, as I said, Sean and I are returning to Australia, so we'll be looking at a couple of federations, which I know exist in Sydney and the Gold Coast already, um, so I may well be, uh, be entering um, over there. But on that note, I uh, need to get to the gym as I've got a uh, mammoth session um, of training tonight. So until next time, bye-bye.